Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at a really cool uh, self-working car trick. I know, it's not Saturday. What's going on around here? This trick is a different take on a classic self-working car trick, a mathematical trick by Richard Vollmer. It comes out of Apocalypse Volume 20 and uh, it's just a gem of a, uh, it's just a treat and a gem. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, so in this trick, you have somebody really shuffle the deck, and you say that we're gonna try to get uh, get some lucky cards today. All right, so now uh, after they shuffle, you have them deal our lucky number thirteen in this case, uh, face down into a pile. So they do that. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 and we'll do one more just to spice things up. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and 13, just to increase our odds of getting a lucky card. All right, so sometimes um, I get a lucky card in the deck. Sometimes it can be the queen of spades, sometimes the king of spades, sometimes the queen of diamonds. It just varies uh, from day to day. But I think in this case, we'll go for a lucky card. I think I'll go for today. Oh, the four of diamonds. I don't know why, it just seems lucky. All right, so now what we'll do is to get your lucky cards or your lucky numbers, we'll do um, the backwards count, okay? So what that is, you just take the deck and start from king all the way to ace, and if you get a match, that'll be your lucky card, okay? So go ahead, that's king, queen, jack, 10. Ooh, there's a 10, all right? So that'll be a lucky card there. We can do the same thing over here, all right? So king... Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We didn't get a lucky card. We'll try it one more time just to see if there's a lucky card in here. We, it, it may not be. I don't know. Uh, we'll just have to see. They can shuffle them again if they want to. All right. So that's uh, King, Queen, Jack, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well, we didn't get any lucky cards that time, but that's okay. Maybe maybe 10 is the one. So we'll see here. We just count 10 cards. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10 cards. Remember, I said that my lucky card today was the Four of Diamonds. I had no idea if there would be a lucky card in here or not, or this one, but it happened to be a 10 today. And I said the Four of Diamonds would be my lucky card today. Let's take a look. <laughs> it's the Four of Diamonds. <laughs> Now, believe it or not, uh, this works every time, and uh, it it's not always the same. You could have a situation where I just had, where uh, there's no lucky cards in the other pile, or there's no lucky cards in either pile, or the lucky card at both piles. It just varies uh, from day to day. But uh, all you have to do is have them shuffle the deck and count 13 cards into two piles, all right? But you don't say that at first, because I think that can be too... Um, like a, like a too important rule, okay? So say, uh, we'll try to get some lucky cards today. Let's use a lucky number in this case, maybe 13 is a lucky number. Some people think so anyway. All right, you have them build 13 cards into a pile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So now say, look, um, just to increase our chances of getting a lucky card, why don't we do another one, another 13 here? So they do that, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And I think doing it this way um, seems more like impromptu, like you're just coming up with this thing on the spot. Like, uh, like I said, if you just come out at the gate and saying, deal two piles of cards, 13 each. That just seems too procedural, like there's so many rules about it, all right? So just, just my two cents. Now, to get your card, uh, the card that you your lucky card will be, it's going to be the card that's second from the top of the rest of the cards. And the way I do that is a face-up slip shuffle, noting the bottom card. In this case, is the nine of clubs. So what I do is I'm talking, I just do a slip shuffle like this, milking those top and bottom cards off as like, like this, and just do this, and I get lucky cards from time to time each day, and just by doing that, that positions that nine of clubs second from the top. All right, so you can say like, sometimes it'll be three of spades, sometimes it can be the six of hearts, sometimes it'll be the five of hearts, but I think today, I think my lucky card today will be, oh, I don't know, the nine of clubs. I don't know why, it just feels right. So now you have them, uh, pick up one of the piles and they can mix them again if they want to, it's up to them. And then you have them uh, 
go through the thing of going through king through ace, that's how you get your lucky card, right? Uh, try to make it make sense. It doesn't make sense at all, but try to make it make sense. Like it's the way it's supposed to be, right? So they go uh, king, queen, jack, 10, nine, eight. Ooh, there's an eight. So as soon as they get a match, you put just put the rest of the cards or have them put the rest of the cards back on top of the deck, okay? So now they do the same thing over here. So that's king, queen, jack, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We didn't get a match, and that's actually the same thing that happened in the video or the performance. So no match today. Uh, maybe we can do it one more time just to see if there's a lucky card in there. There might not be, who knows, okay? So they do it again. That's king, queen, jack, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. No match today. And if that happens, say we'll just go with this one this must be the lucky card today an eight all right so this is what you do if that happens if you get a scenario in which it's only one of the piles that has a match you would do whatever number it is the match eight in this case and deal one two three four five six seven and eight cards and then next card it'll always be the next card if it's just one pile okay so there's the nine of clubs there okay so what happens if it's both of the piles so what happens if both of the piles have a match? Well, it's very simple. So we'll go king, queen, jack, 10, nine, eight, seven. There's a seven. So again, just put the rest of the cards on there where they do it. Now have them add up both of the numbers. Okay, so in this case, eight plus seven is 15. And at this point, if it's both of the piles, it'll actually be at number 15, not the next card like before. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. I had it face up. <laughs> and if both of the piles don't have a match after uh, the second time around and there's still no match, just do different tricks. Say, we must, we must not be lucky today. Let's, let's just do something else and don't bore them with it constantly dealing through cards you know throws no matches all right so uh that's all i have for you today um i hope you like it and um all right guys so as always thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video it means the world to me and so if you learned something new if you got value from the video do me a huge favor and hit that like button and sub to the channel until next time happy practicing i love you guys